Cancers! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from today to the end of September. I'm doing it from today even though I've already posted a video up till the 21st. I do that for organizational purposes. Uh, you know, whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. Time is not linear. So something that was posted like a year ago could resonate for you. Um, <laughs> Cancer, before I get into all my stuff, I actually already tried doing your reading. And I gotta be honest, I sensed some like dark magic or dark energy, pick one, <laughs> pick whatever you want. There was so much confusion around you, Cancer. And it was like, this isn't making any sense. It's almost like you're missing pieces of time. If you're having blackouts, please go to a doctor, okay? Um, but it's almost like you're missing pieces. It's like, there's been an ending. This is only for what I picked up in the last reading, but I had to sage and clear some shit out, okay? Cancer, it's like there, there's been a shift in you or in your environment or in your life. For some, it's been an ending of a situation or ending of a cycle, just a cycle. And there's pain associated with that. But it's like you can't quite recall a lot of it, which is really strange to me. It's almost like your memory's been messed with or it's like you're kind of foggy brain. Now, we have had a lot of timeline shifts. When that happens, your memory does get a little messed with. A little you know you might get a little memory wipe here and there but it feels bigger than that and i just kept seeing fog 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 okay cancer so whoever that was for someone might be practicing some dark shit on you i'm just saying i'm just saying if that's resonating with you you'll get the chills you'll know it in your stomach like you'll know that that's for you please take um proper action against that okay um angelic guidance has a lot of videos on that as far as having to deal with certain things like that S saging can you know help getting reiki cleansings can help asking your guides to your guides excuse me your guides your guides to protect you uh can help getting protective charms can help willing it away can also help um a lot of other things, but I am not like advanced in, in, in that arena. Um, so by all means, Angelic Guidance has a lot of information on that, especially on her website, I believe, okay? Including spiritual baths, definitely take some spiritual baths. But outside of that, go to Angelic Guidance for that, okay? Okay, so Cancers, hello, new and old, hi. Thank you for subbing, commenting, liking, and sharing and all that fun stuff. It feels really good to be back, Cancers, I can't even tell you. So let's talk about the meditative session I did and then we'll go ahead and do the pre-shuffle. Hopefully that dark shit stays away and then we'll go ahead and do the tarot reading, okay? Um, so tapping into your energy was really interesting, Cancer, because I actually wanted to do it a while ago and I got really hungry and I actually don't get that hungry. And I was like, oh, Cancer must be stressed. And I do kind of feel that with you guys, like 10 of wands, like nine of swords, eight of swords kind of energy, like some anxiety, some fear, some concerns, some worry, a little bit of stress and burden, burdens kind of energy. And so my, some of you guys might be like, stress eating so just keep that in mind if you don't really want to be stress eating some of you guys are actually doing that just because you're stressed out it's okay we all we all been there we've all been there i also saw a book like that was open and like the pages were flapping and i was like oh this is kind of cool i think some of you will be accessing the akashic records for the first time or you'll be doing it more so that's really cool for those for whoever that's for um some of you could be studying or deciding to go back to school or just have gone back to school or you're researching something heavily you're just kind of throwing yourself into like you know satisfying your your knowledge thirst or what have you uh and others of you i feel like you're you're looking back at how something happened and that's how i kind of felt like went on that train that led me to like the dark energy fucking with your memories and fucking with your mind a little bit um so again cancers for the who, whoever that's for just be mindful of that um but cancer some of you are very nostalgic right now either you know whatever cycle has ended for you because cancers i feel like a lot of you like just ended cycles are about to end cycles it's making you think a lot about your past about who you are what really makes you happy like going almost going back to your childhood like wait what actually made me happy like what are my true passions where do my true emotions lie you know some of you it's almost like you're looking in your own history for this okay and kind of like looking at facts and how something has transpired in your life or how something has come about in your life i also saw cooking so you could just be you know enjoying you know cooking for yourself but i felt very like manifestation magician energy with that so some of you are trying to manifest a lot for yourself okay uh which is great for those of you where you're kind of being nostalgic though just be mindful that you're not like manifesting something from the past that you're already done with just be very careful with that but some of you guys are really trying to focus on what's ahead for you which is really beautiful energy okay so let's go ahead and do the pre-shuffle again i already pre-shuffled it but you know I didn't, I didn't like that energy that came in. I don't need that dark shit in my readings, okay? 
Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the end of September. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the end of September. I'll do one more here. What's all this food imagery? <laughs> It's like they're showing me food, cooking. I thought you guys were stress eating. They're showing me more people eating. I'm like, what is this? Oh, Cancer, you're trying to nourish your soul. You're trying to figure out how to nourish yourself a little bit. How to like love on yourself. How to give yourself a little bit more self-care. Like what's really going to be nourishing for you in the long run? What's really going to be good for you in the long run? You're thinking long haul right now as far as your stability. And again, that self-nourishment kind of energy, which is really nice. I like that. Hmm. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For my Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter from now to the end of September. Regarding love. Some of you guys are also in your crab shell a little bit. And I think that's the, for those who are really stressed out. They, they actually show me like a crab shell with like really big like googly eyes. Uh, something's making you very anxious, Cancer. You don't really know how to handle it. I feel like it's a situation you actually don't want to touch, but you don't have a choice. But you're, you're kind of in your crab shell about it. Whoa. Let's see what we got here. Oh, devil in reverse. Capricorn energy. Oh, man. Five of cups and the two of pentacles. Oh, cancer. It's okay. It's okay, cancer. Oh, man. With the devil in reverse, five of cups and like two of pentacles, there's... Oh, fuck. There's been a release here. Oh, okay. I'm picking up a couple things. Some of you are needing to release yourself from a devil energy or a toxic energy, but you know it's kind of like releasing your real uh, Jesus. Releasing yourself is very difficult because you're very attached to this person or situation or this devilish energy, whatever it is for you, and it's really bumming you out. It's really bumming you out. This is a situation you don't want to deal with, but you know you have to. And Two of Pentacles, you know you have to make a choice here. You know you have to make a choice in doing this. Um oh god cancer it's really bumming you out others it's almost like oh oh this is sad but do we have to start out sad the two of pentacles came out just I, I couldn't hold on to it now it's like in reverse um i'm still gonna hold it up right though this came out in the other video i was doing for you guys the other pre-shuffle and i was getting two halves Two halves to a transformative energy, two halves to a transformation, two halves to like a changing point here. And camps and the cancer I was tapped into was really struggling with that because it's almost like they couldn't figure it out because the other person had the other piece to the puzzle. And I'm sensing that a little bit here. Cancer, you're feeling the need to drop someone or something. This is I'm just getting intuitive messages for a lot of people. So take whatever resonates, okay? Cancer, some of you are feeling like you've released someone who's like your other half. Some of you are also feeling like you have to release someone that's your other half. And it's bumming you out. Keep in mind, Cancer, this could be someone, um, someone else's energy who like, is like feeling this way about you. So just keep that in mind. Uh, also, I don't know if I said it because this is the second time I'm doing a reading. <laughs> Uh, keep in mind energy I pick up on for meditation is energy that I'm picking up in and around you so it's energy you could be experiencing directly or someone you're energetically attached to or someone in your environment and it can be vice versa because it's energy oh I think I did say that sorry anyway yeah some of you that's definitely the case here where you're either releasing someone who you feel is your other half or you feel like you have to you feel like you have to others there's like a devilish toxic situation that you're trying to release yourself from, from, but it's very addictive. And so you're really kind of bummed out about having to do that to find your balance here. Either way, there's sadness. Either way, there's sadness and there's major loss here. And some of you, it is about someone who you really feel like is your other half, okay? Others, it's just about something toxic. So decide what group you're in. Let's see what else we got here. Oh. I, I was worried that was a seven of swords. Seven of swords. Sorry. <laughs> I cuss a lot. I can't help it. Seven of Swords is Aquarian energy here. 
it's like you're having so much trouble under like god cancer i feel like you're really confused right now i feel like you're really really confused for whatever reason or another whether it's this addictive toxic energy or whatever is making you feel like you have to release your other half i don't know why anyone would feel that way though there's there's deception afoot here There's deception and illusion. Illusion first and foremost, Cancer. Illusion first and foremost. Be very careful here, because like I said, I definitely sense some of my Cancers got some dark magic being placed on them. That's always going to make you confused, okay? But this Seven of Swords, I really feel like it's illusion. I, yeah, I really feel like it's illusion and sabotage. Whoa. Cards are spewing out here, okay? Oh, lordy. <laughs> Lovers in reverse with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Both Gemini energy. Yeah, there's been an ending to a spiritual connection. Okay, I just heard a pause. A pause to a spiritual connection. But there's an ending of a cycle here. Ending of a cycle. Someone really feels like they, they had to like let go of their other half. Wow. Yeah, look at this. The Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy with Justice in reverse, Libra energy, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. Someone's been released. And Queen of Pentacles is like a perfect partner. Like Queen of Pentacles is like that's my multitasking queen. I love the queen of pentacles. So like I said, cappy energy could also be earth or water. It's someone who like takes care of the home, takes care of the business, takes care of herself and takes care of others. Like she does it all. That's the queen of pentacles. Someone who does it all, quite literally the perfect spouse, male or female, and they've been released and it is definitely kar a, a karmic injustice or just injustice. Hold on. First, okay. Depending on what group you're in. For some of you, it's just karmic injustice. Others, it's just like spirits, like what the hell? <laughs> Wow, Cancer, what the hell is going on? Yeah, there's been a spiritual connection. I really feel like that betrayed. A spiritual connection has been... Shh, can't talk today. A spiritual connection has been betrayed here with the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Swords due to illusion. And for some, that is definitely dark magic or dark forces at work. And a perfect partner has been released. Even spirits shaking their head at that. And at the same time, Cancer, I feel major sadness as a result of that. And for some, it's it's an addictive or, or dark, toxic energy that's making this happen. Others, it's just um, like dark magic. Some it's toxicity. Some it's your own addictions. Or again, it could be vice versa. But someone feel, feels like they're, they're losing their other half or have to let go of their other half here. Ay. Wow. It does feel like an energy of like forceness, though, like... Like, I have to let this person go. Cancer, let's go and get into your reading. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just the messenger. If I could make it all positive, I would. But, you know, tis life, right? All right, guys. So keep in mind, this is going to be a very general reading. Not all messages will resonate for everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. Sometimes that'll be you. Sometimes it won't. Sorry. Uh, just is what it is. If you're not resonating with me, there are a lot of readers on YouTube that are fabulous. Please, by all means, check them out. I subscribe to a lot of them. Okay? Um, also, guys, we're working with energy, so it can be vice versa. It can resonate with you, but if you have to switch the roles, just switch them. That's okay. And also, guys, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Gender does not matter. We all have masculine and feminine energy. And whenever you're guided to watch this, is when you're supposed to watch it. Okay? Any messages for cancer? Oh, someone's done a lot of crying. Any messages for cancer? Oh, this jumped out. <laughs> Damn, Queen of Pentacles again jumped out. I'm leaving I'm leaving her here. She clearly wants to be known. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, male or female, they're like, hey, do not forget me, I'm here. Like, it's that kind of energy. Very captivating, too. Oh, you know what? Let's tap into this person a little bit, because they're demanding attention. They're demanding attention. So let, let's tap into this person a little bit. There's something about this person and success. They're very driven. They're very driven. Oh, hold it up, sorry. <laughs> They're very driven. They're very captivating. There's something about them where it's like they really can have it all. They really do do it all. And they're very radiant because of that. It's like people really admire them for that. People would really admire them for that. And like like I said, it's like this person's like, oh no, you're, you're putting me in the reading. It's like, <laughs> like, that's this person's energy. I like it though. I like that. All right, Cancer. Any other messages for Cancer regarding love from now to the end of September? Ooh, three of cups in reverse, Cancerian energy here. I feel a toxic environment, like toxic social environment for sure. Uh, I'm also getting like, oh, geez. 
no reconciliation, no coming together. This person feels like they're kind of on their own. This Queen of Pentacles kind of feels like they're on their own and it's they're they're kind of realizing that there's there's a rift and it's like it's it's expanding. There's a rift, yeah, there's a rift and it's there it's expanding. I'm also picking up like I said on a toxic environment or a toxic social circle. Uh oh, they just showed me something really weird. They showed me something really weird. They showed me like a dining table and there's a bunch of people around it and it's like they're all wear like they're all wear oh god, I don't know. They're all wearing Halloween masks. I mean, granted Halloween's coming up, but it just kind of creeped me out the way it showed. Yeah, someone's got some people around them that are not who they say they are. And I feel like it's causing a rift here. It's causing a rift and this queen is very aware. The other person is not aware. The queen is like, look, yeah, this queen of pentacles knows what's going on. This queen of pentacles knows what's up. This is interesting. Oh, that damn seven of swords again. But in reverse this time, in reverse, this is old crimes. Old crimes. Yeah, this actually feels like crimes. This actually feels like sabotage. This feels like, this feels like deception, not just illusion. What I was picking up on before is like someone's being disillusioned uh, to let go of like a perfect partner situation or let go of their other half in, in a way. But this actually feels like someone got away with something. I almost feel like this queen is like looking up at a situation. That's interesting looking up because the queen of pentacles I would think would have to look down. This queen is looking at a situation that they that they're not actually a part of. It feels like again that toxic social circle and manipulation and it's like this queen can feel a rift between them and another person. So Cancer, whoever you are in the situation, you know, decide the queen or this other person and this queen almost knows that they can't really do anything about it. They can't do anything about it. They're just watching things transpire and someone got away with something. Someone got away with something. Don't worry, Cancer. We're breaking this shit down. We're breaking this telenovela down. <laughs> Let's see. Any other messages for my cancers regarding love from now to the end of September? Any other messages for cancers regarding love from now to the end of September? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Uh-oh. Do you guys see what I see? If I could hold these up for you. We got two queens right in the middle. We've got a three of cups in a verse and a seven of swords in a verse. Cancer, this is Cancerian energy, Pisces and Scorpio. Cappy energy could also be earth or water. Capricorn and Cancer are the one sevens of each other, okay? The compliments of each other. I feel like this is the other person. I felt this is the person who can't see the riff. Like, no, they see the riff. They just can't see, that's what it is. They can't see the toxic social circle. Okay. They can't see the, the toxicity in their environment. Someone got away with something when it comes to this Queen of Cups. Cancer, decide who you are in this. Decide who you are in this, okay? Um, but something, I feel like someone took advantage of the Queen of Cups here. And they got away with something. And in doing so, it, it caused a rift between this Queen of Cups and this Queen of Pentacles. Keep in mind, gender does not matter here, guys. It's energy just being harnessed right now. This person who got taken advantage of is very much in their feelings and a lot of Cancerian energy. The person who has kind of got like, I feel like they got pushed out, to be honest. I feel like they're on, it's like a little canyon and it's like over time it expands, right, to a big valley. Just a little nerd knowledge for you. <laughs> uh, and this person's on their side and they can just see it like drifting away and they're like, well, shit, I can't do nothing. Can't do anything about that. They're in Cappy energy. This person's in proactive mode, working mode. Any other messages? Any other messages for my cancers? Any other messages for my cancers regarding love from now to the end of... From now to the end of September? I'll show you what came out in a minute. Got two other cards here. Page of Swords in a verse. Ay, 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 and the moon in reverse. Piscean energy also can't stare in for me as a reader. Lies are coming to the surface. Lies are coming to the surface here. Okay. Overall energy, we do have the chariot in reverse, which is Cancerian energy. And holy shit, we've got a king of cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be um, water or air here. The perfect complement, the perfect pair, true pair to this queen of cups. Cancer, decide who you are, okay? Uh, I feel like this king of cups is actually this, also this queen of pentacles. I feel like they're the same person. I feel like this king of cups energy is the masculine energy. 
to the feminine side within this person, meaning we all have masculine feminine energy. What's being harnessed within this one person right now is masculine scorpionic energy and the other person and their feminine side is Capricorn energy. All right. Their feminine side, Cappy energy, earthy energy, queen of pentacles energy, their masculine side, scorpionic energy, water energy. Okay. So King of Cups in reverse and the Chariot in reverse, eey. it's almost like, like love's been frozen. This is interesting. I feel frozen with this. Not like the movie, but like frozen. Total standstill. No movement. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles is, Cancer, whether you're this person or it's, you know, the other person for you, their masculine side is a little dominating. Their masculine side is dominating, but it's interesting because I feel like it's so funny because, you know, we associate feminine energy with like that nurturing emotional, but masculine energy has that too. Okay. But this person's masculine side, it's a little dominating and it's, it, it needs rebalancing, but I feel like it's almost like been put on hold for a minute. It's like this person is like, all right, I'm going all in my feminine energy. I'm putting my masculine energy on hold because this person this person is a king of cups when it comes to love. They like to give and they can't give right now. Thank you. That's why it's for, that's why they're like putting a hold on this energy for themselves. Yeah, this person in a way is almost shutting down their masculine side and putting love on hold because that's the side that a lot of their love comes from. Oh, that's interesting. And their feminine side is more like the proactive, tangible nurturer. Oh, I'm like, this person's really fascinating, Cancer. <laughs> Whether you're this person or, you know, it's the person you're dealing with. Because it's like, this person has a lot of love and a lot of nurturing. But a lot of it comes from their masculine side, which is giving. It's like, that. that is like, give, 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 shower, shower, shower. Their feminine side is like the tangible nurturer of like, let's get, let's get shit done. Let's do this. Let's do this. The support system. And the other person who's getting taken advantage of, their feminine side is, is very much like receive, 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 receive love. There might be some counterparts involved in this because someone's masculine side matches someone's feminine side. Okay, just saying. Now, let's break down this energy a little bit more, Cancer. Let's look at the Three of Cups in reverse, okay? Oh, man. Using Rider weight to clarify. Three of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love, from now to the end of September, talking about Three of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love, from now to the end of September. Talking about Three of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Regarding love, from now to the end of September. Yeah, this is so interesting. This person, ooh, five of cups. This person is trying to operate from their feminine side because their masculine side just wants to shower love and they can't do that right now to this queen of cups because of this rift. Tell me about three of cups in reverse. Tell me about three of cups in reverse. Now, Cancer, if you're this queen of pentacles and you're shutting down your masculine side because of that, because you want to shower love and you can't shower love right now, um, be mindful of that because we need to be balanced in our energy, okay? I understand you're in your, your whoever this is, if this is you, Cancer, I understand you're in your queen of pentacles, proactive, getting shit done, getting shit done, nurture whatever I can, nurture whatever I can. Uh, very proactive mode, I get it, but we need to be balanced in our energies, okay? Tell me about queen of pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer regarding love from now to the end of September. Oh, not. <laughs> see, see how captivating this person is? They just drew me right in. <laughs> no, we're looking at the Three of Cups in reverse. Stop it. Stop it. Tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Tell me about Three of Cups in reverse. Ugh. Wow, what did I say about a toxic social circle with freaking masks on? I saw, I know what I saw. Basically, deceiving this person, deceiving this Queen of Cups. Look at this. Lovers and the Ace of Swords in reverse. Lies about a spiritual connection. Lies about two people who have a very intense bond here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Just wow. All right, let's see what else we got here. Lies and illusion. Thank you, spirit. Lies and illusion. Tell about three of cups in reverse. Tell about three of cups in reverse. Ooh. 
Sorry, I just got a little dizzy. Tarot Three of Cups in Reverse for Cancer regarding love from now to the end of September. Oh, fuck. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Five of Swords, Aquarian Energy, Venus and Aquarius to be specific with the Hangman in Reverse, Piscean Energy. Someone's realized that there's been some mind games here. I just heard mind control, actually. Yeah, someone's realizing there's been some mind games here. I feel like the Queen of Pentacles is the one who realizes that. I feel like they're the ones that realize that. Overall energy, we have the Moon in Reverse, Piscean Energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader, with the Two of Pentacles, two, not Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups in Reverse underneath that, Cancerian Energy, Soulmate Energy. Again, realizing that um, this connection's been taken advantage of. Yeah. This connection's been taken advantage of. Because there's been lies, there's been illusion around it, and someone's realizing, wow, there's been mind games. This Queen of Pentacles is realizing that. There's been mind games, this connection's been messed with. Let's look at the Seven of Swords in reverse and see what's going on there. I feel like this is the, the, like, the deception this Queen of Cups has suffered, that someone's taken advantage of this Queen of Cups. Mm, let's use Gilded for this one. Play with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Play with the Seven of Swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love from now to the end of September. Play with the Seven of Swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love from now to the end of September. Play with the Seven of Swords in reverse. What was gotten away with? Something was got like someone got away with something for sure. Someone got away with something. Play with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Play with the Seven of Swords in reverse for Cancer. Oh, this Queen of Cups has a big heart, too. Really big heart. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Huh. <laughs> Sorry. You guys ready? Yep. King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. More confirmation of a true pair situation. King of Pentacles is Taurian energy. Could also be um, Earth or Air with a Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Cappy energy could also be uh, Earth or Water. This Queen of Pentacles over here. This King of Pentacles, this is like, guys, this is like, it's ridiculous. This is totally divine counterparts for a lot of you. Okay, for whoever's resonating with this, this could be divine counterparts. This person who was taken advantage of, their feminine side is Cancerian, their masculine side is Taurian right now. And I'm just saying right now because it's energy being harnessed, that spirits just want to make a point, okay? So this person that got taken advantage of, Cancerian feminine side, Taurian masculine side going on here. The person who sees that this person got taken advantage of, feminine, earthy, cappy side, and a watery, scorpionic, masculine side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's putting all these cards back here. Anyway, so what got taken advantage of this connection? And it's interesting because, oh, focus. There we go. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, it's this, this uh, idea of disloyalty. This, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just stick with the Queens because I don't want to confuse anybody, okay? We've got the Queen of Cups that got taken advantage of and the Queen of Pentacles who sees the Queen of Cups got taken advantage of, okay? It's like this person was made to think that this Queen of Pentacles isn't loyal. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords in reverse. I'm going to pull out Lenormand deck on this one. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Oh, Three of Swords. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. Jesus. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Now we've got, geez, three of pentacles in reverse, cappy energy with the three of swords. Yeah, someone someone just decided to not deal with this anymore. Three of swords is Libra energy. Yeah, yeah. Someone decided that it, it wasn't worth it. It's like someone like made the conclusion that someone's not loyal. And then we have the knight of pentacles, Virgo energy could also be earth or fire and the king of swords, Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. This is interesting. I feel like this is a message. Someone received a message about this. Someone received a message about this. And then we have Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy with the Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Someone's throwing themselves into work to get over heartbreak. 
overall energy for the seven of swords in reverse we have seven of pentacles in reverse taurian energy wow and the ace of pentacles in reverse missing an opportunity yeah not investing totally deciding to miss an opportunity here um and th someone's throwing themselves into work to not feel sad about this anymore but it's like someone received a message about this someone received a message here it's almost like someone went like hey you know that person they're not loyal to you yeah yeah Ugh. okay let's see his one arm and deck here because i want to know what's going on <sighs> spirit what was the crime here what was the sabotage what was the sabotage here yeah that's seriously how it feels like someone was made to believe that a queen of pentacles was not loyal and they went hey they're not loyal to you they're not you know they're not gonna they're not collaborating with you they don't have your best interests at heart and then someone's like deciding to just miss it miss on the opportunity okay what was the, the crime here Ooh. hold on guys <laughs> coffin with the energy of eight with nine of pentacles which is a very single energy and putting something to rest putting something to end putting something to bed tell me more about the sabotage that took place here tell me more about the sabotage that took place here oh boy oh wow i can't believe these two came out together this is the explicit meaning of these two cards together is an act of god divine intervention okay the bridge with the tower the six of swords and the six of wands okay it was supposed to happen this way interesting and then we have the bear and the dog which is like die hard loyalty but it has the uh, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands associated with it. A burdensome love. Burden, burdensome loyalty. This is interesting. So something was put to an end and there's divine intervention involved in this. It was supposed to happen this way. It was supposed to happen, oh, someone needs to learn a lesson. Thank you, spirit. Someone has to learn a lesson. There, there's a loyalty here that shouldn't be there's a burdensome loyalty that shouldn't be involved in this situation. And basic, and I'm not, guys, I mean, spirit works in funny ways. Spirit works in funny ways. However, this person came into information, true or not, true or not, that this Queen of Pentacles isn't loyal, it was divine intervention. It had to happen for a reason. This person has to learn a lesson here. And it might, the lesson might be to like understand who you deal with, right? That toxic social circle that I was picking up on. Let's see if we can find out more. Tell me more about the crime here that took place. Tell me more about the sabotage that took place. Let's see here. I can never say the word. Diviner, diviner. Divine with an R at the end of it, okay? Again, more of that energy of like, it was supposed to happen. I'm actually getting visions with this. I'm actually getting visions with that. On the bottom of the deck, ooh, we got the snake. I did, I did do that in the last video too and I can't do it. Snake. Snake is treachery. Treachery and illusion. With the Queen of Wands attached to it, by the way, which has made quite an appearance this past year, right? As all, we all know. Yeah, this is interesting. Th this basically happened. This person came into this understanding, true or not, came into this understanding under treacherous meme, mean, memes, 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 under treacherous means, and Spirit made sure it happened that way. So that this person could learn from their mistakes and for some it could even been through a, wow that card cannot stay in my hands i keep trying to grab it it literally jumped out like three times that was crazy it's like it didn't even like it's almost like something didn't even want me to hold it um this card is basically just like i was saying the esoteric the etherical visions intuition that sort of thing here okay there's a lot of that involved here i feel like it's also really emphasizing the connection between these two people um but there's something about like burdensome loyalty or like loyalty that shouldn't be here, okay? I feel like someone uh, gives their loyalty too easily. I don't think this Queen of Pentacles is actually up to anything bad. I really feel like this has to do with the social circle. I really feel like this has to do with the environment of someone's like learning the hard lesson um, of who they're loyal to and, and how their loyalties are not actually received. But why would it be going after the connection? Wow. Because that's the only way they'll learn. Okay, spirit. All right, I'll leave it alone. <laughs> I'll 
I'll leave it alone. Last two cards out, Moon Universe, Page of Swords Universe. Someone will realize that there's been lies here. Someone will realize that there's been lies. Let's look at the Page of Swords Universe and look at what the lies are. Mm, feeling like it? No. Yeah. No, Steampunk. <laughs> Change my mind. Steampunk. Steampunk. Oh, shit. Let's look at this Page of Swords Universe. What are the lies here? Tell me about Page of Swords Universe. You know, it almost feels like a case of like, you know, when when spirit tries to like really get us to like hear them like, hey, don't do that. Or, hey, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. Or, hey, maybe you should be talking to this person or blah, 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 blah. Like trying to give you like those little like nudges of where you should be going, what you should be doing, who you should be talking to. And we don't listen. We don't listen. We don't listen. Sometimes they got to teach us a lesson in harsh ways. This feels this feels like someone's learning a very harsh lesson because they hadn't been listening. Tell me about page of swords in reverse. And hey, I'm not saying that it's awesome. I'm just, I'm just the messenger here. Because there's a really, really intense connection for some of you, a counterpart connection uh, that that's like, that's being interrupted here for the sake of learning a, a very valuable lesson. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love. From now to the end of September. Whoa. Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy, also my pre-Empress card. This is interesting. I feel a very single energy with this. I feel like it's the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is the Queen of Pentacles energy. Uh, very independent. Again, that, that energy of like hardworking, 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 right? The very, very hardworking energy. Um, very abundant, very stable. Yeah, I really feel like it's lies about this person. Okay, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse. Ooh. Ha. <laughs> What did, what did I say about social circle? Five of Wands, Leo energy with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be um, air or water here. I feel, ugh, this is a lot of fighting. A lot of fighting, a lot of gossiping, and more of that energy of just like mind games. Mind games, fighting, and competition. This person was seen as competition. This person was perceived as a threat. This person was perceived as a threat. Uh, and, and like I said, I feel social circle at the root of this could also be family it doesn't have to just be um, friends or coworkers. but I feel like this person was a threat for some reason um, to this person's social circle social network. Someone wanted to make sure this person was cut out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's funny because remember there was a messenger to the King of Swords. And who got and who's doing the cutting out? I feel like there's a soulmate at the at the core of this for, for this Queen of Cups. Uh, yeah, this Queen of Cups has a soulmate involved in this toxic social network situation uh, that wanted to make sure that this Queen of Pentacles got cut out. I know, it's a little crazy complicated, but hang in there with me. They wanted to make sure they saw this. They saw this Queen of Pentacles as a threat. So they made sure that they got cut out. They made sure they got removed. Which for those in counterpart situations happens all the time. Okay. And it's serving as a lesson learned because, I mean, very clearly, my God, it's serving as a lesson learned because there is a bit of divine intervention with this. Spirit is just kind of let this happen because they knew the Queen of Cups would learn from this. Tell me about Page of Swords in reverse because clearly the lies are being revealed. The lies are coming to light, okay? Lies are coming to light. Uh, this Queen of Cups is going to realize that whoever this Queen of Swords is to them, it does feel like a soulmate energy. So friend, family, lover, ex-lover, whatever, made sure that this Queen of Cups cut out this Queen of Pentacles because this Queen of Swords was threatened by this Queen of Pentacles. Okay? Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Page of Swords in reverse for Cancer regarding love. Wow. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy, a loss of a foundation, a foundation that like for some of you, you like you really put in a lot of time to establish, 
where like what you either had a family or what have you, or you were on your way to establishing something long term, whether it's just business or a long standing friendship or a long standing relationship. That's that's been that's been chipped away at because it was too threatening. It was too threatening to the toxic social circle of this Queen of Cups. Overall energy, that Queen of Cups. <laughs> Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio underneath that. Four of Swords in reverse, Libra energy underneath that, the star in reverse, man. This is major need to heal. Major need to recover from, from having these lies come to the surface. I feel like this is what the Queen of Cups is gonna be doing. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Male or female? Male or female. All right, so before I pull any advice, I just wanna paraphrase because I know we got a lot of information, a lot of messages that came out. Essentially, we had two people here very compatible. Masculine balanced out the feminine side and, and either or, and you know in either of them. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles was, was pushed out, cut out, because a Queen of Swords, basically uh, one of the Queen of Cups to perceive this Queen of Pentacles as being disloyal in some way, shape, or form. They gave a message to the Queen of Cups, whose masculine side is also a King of Swords. That's interesting. They're coming, oh, for clarity, for clarity. Thank you, for clarity, clarity. Um, this Queen of Cups felt like they had a lot of clarity when they received a message from this Queen of Swords about this Queen of Pentacles or whatever that communication is. Pushed out this Queen of Pentacles, made sure this Queen of Pentacles was cut out. Spirit let it happen because it was going to teach the Queen of Cups a lesson about the people they're surrounding themselves with. In doing so, they had a loss of foundation here. Business, love, family, what have you. And the Queen of Cups is realizing that. The lies are coming to surface. And it's a really hard lesson learned. Shit. Cancer. I really hope you're the Queen of Pentacles in this. I gotta be honest. I mean, this is kind of a shitty situation, especially considering how many people are involved in this. I feel a lot of talking, like a lot of talking going on. And this Queen of Pentacles, I feel like wasn't even part of the talking. I feel like this Queen of Pentacles was just kind of like on the outskirts and all of a sudden it's like there is a shift of like getting pushed out or getting cut out. Because this Queen of Cups was led to believe that this Queen of Pentacles wasn't loyal in show, some way, shape or form because of the people they surround themselves with, family or friends otherwise. And because of that, love has basically been frozen here between the two wow okay advice time <laughs> jesus where are we at oh my god we're at 42 minutes jesus christ cancer ah okay okay <laughs> quickly get some advice from my cancers what a clusterfuck, Cancer. What a, no wonder you're hiding in your shell. I hide in my shell. I would hide in my shell. Uh, any advice for my Cancers? Any advice for my Cancers? Come on. Any advice for my Cancers regarding this spread? 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 Essentially, someone basically listened to their social network over their own intuition and over their own heart. A little bit of people pleasing for some of you involved in that. Let's see, okay. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? And there was a soulmate of the Queen of Cups driving this, driving this whole event. Family, friend, or coworker, or otherwise. Any advice? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Ooh, ooh, there is always enough. Koi for, oh, cancer. The energy of 36 breaking down to a nine. So this is about scarcity mindset and understanding that, um, oh, that was weird, it wasn't even focused. And understanding that when it comes to people and social circles, there's so many fish in the sea, quite literally. So many fish in the sea that will have your best interest at heart and having like, I'm get, almost getting like having more friends is not as important as having quality friends so some of you are kind of learning that lesson here um i'm also getting for the queen of pentacles there's a lesson involved in that too i feel like that lesson that i just said was really more for the queen of cups and that social circle energy um 
This Queen of Pentacles, I feel like kind of struggled a little bit with this situation or will be struggling with this situation. And who wouldn't? I mean, my God, this is kind of tough. Damn it. I'm gonna have to stitch these videos. I can already tell. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway. Um, oh. This is interesting because I actually disagree with this, but Spirit's telling me to say this. Um, love is never enough, okay? I fully believe that. Love is never enough, all right? You need more than love to make a relationship work. And, and Spirit's like unconditional love. It's like they're reminding me about unconditional love. When there's unconditional love, it's bottomless. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> Uh, I really feel like it's just for the Queen of Pentacles to come from a place of unconditional love because that is bottomless here and it's but it's the damage is done though so I'm like okay spirit but that's 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 the message here for the Queen of Pentacles got a lot of cards that just fell out any other advice for cancers any other advice for cancers any other advice for cancers okay Damn it, they had to show that card. They had to show that card. All right, so now we have Giraffe Spirit. See the big picture, 29, breaking down to an 11. Like I said, the, the lies will come out. The lies that were spread about this Queen of Pentacles will come out. They will come to light that this Queen of Swords was per perpetuating in the social circle of this Queen of Cups. Um, things will be revealed. Things will be seen. Wow. And then we have Panther Spirit with the energy of 44. Reclaim your power with Frog Spirit. Clear out the clutter. 28, which is a cyclical energy. Becoming empowered and clearing out anyone that doesn't serve you in your highest good and any emotions that don't serve you. This is definitely a message for the Queen of Cups here about taking out the trash. Taking out the trash to empower yourself. Damn, this is a harsh lesson. I like, I'm like, damn, Spirit. <laughs> damn. <laughs> But it comes down to loyalty and you know some of us have ha where did that bear go i'm like sorry i got so many cards here uh i lost the bear oh there it is this energy of the bear and the dog with that ten of wands and the ten of cups that's a very burdensome loyalty that's like i'm loyal to you no matter what i'm loyal to you at any cost to myself and that's not healthy that's not healthy even if it's friends or family that is not healthy at the end of the day we have to be loyal to us and loyal to what it makes us happy and loyal to what's healthy for us right and anyone who's basically playing mind games on this queen of cups where'd all those five of wands go look at that all the the threat the feeling threatened by this queen of pentacles the mind games the uh, you know the stir in the pot it's like that's not healthy that is like that's a, those are people who don't have your best interests at heart and this lesson is being learned by this queen of cups in a very kind of harsh way and they're realizing that there's a lot of taken out of the trash they have to do and it will make this person feel empowered it will make this queen of cups feel very very empowered very strong and be like oh all y'all family members all y'all friends and all these people it's like i thought you were so loyal to me and it's like wow that's what you're really up to this Queen of Pentacles, there's something about this Queen of Pentacles that, I, like I said, very captivating right out the gate. That really threatens that kind of like control that they have on this Queen of Cups, which is why a soulmate within that social network came forward to make sure this Queen of Pentacles got cut out. Okay? Overall, yeah, I know. <laughs> Otter Spirit, you're never alone. 42 breaking down to a six. This is my Two of Cups lovers connection. And what did we have, guys? in relation to this queen of cups and this queen of pentacles yeah we had a two of cups and lover situation here uh a very very uh supportive nourishing connection that that's what yeah that's what that is that's what that is and this connection's been threatened because this person hasn't learned a very valuable lesson and they will learn this very valuable lesson it's just a matter of is it too late because the love has been frozen between these two okay wow Cancer, this was exhausting. <laughs> this one kind of took it out of me and I still have to do the partner reading for Cancer. Um, but I hope this was insightful. This was a little crazy, but I really hope this was insightful and this helped some of you. Um, don't forget to go on Patreon and check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Cancers. Namaste.